This video is assisted by OneSport software. OneSport is one of the popular sports video analyzer. Now you have the opportunity to create TV-like analysis using the OneSport software. Their link is in the description below. The Ligue 1 is the premier league competition of France, which is often expected to be a one-horse race. As recently, it has been PSG, the crown kings, in seven out of the past eight seasons, a feat that once belonged to Lyon, with seven consecutive titles after the turn of the century. The league does see a one-off season where other teams fight out a title for their own. Monaco from 2016-17 is one such we remember. Interestingly, we have also reached a season where the race to the title is quite neck to neck. And this year it's Lille, who are trying to secure a title after a decade, winning the last in the 2010-11. Let's take a look at their tactics. Late and guided by Gaultier, Lille played some hard fought matches, one which is a win against the reigning champions PSG. They set up in a 4 4 2 or a 4 2 2 2 with defensive compactness both horizontally and vertically, pressing and keeping a deep mid block with the best defensive stats in the country regarding to clean sheets of 18 and goals considered per match and overall. Lille have a good partnership at the back in a left footed Botman and a right footed Fonte. They both provide the team with ball progression. While defending, one fullback pushes up and a midfield drops, and the other fullback drifts inside to make a three main defensive line. When a centre back tries to progress the ball, he can find his near fullback in space quickly to form triangles on the pitch with their central midfielders. The fullbacks give width while the midfielders and wingers offer option to overcome the press. In the midfield region, Benjamin Andre has been the mainstay operating box to box. The midfield are lined up in two units. The central midfielders doesn't line up laterally in a linear setup, rather one is found often deep with the central backs to form a 3-1-4-2 formation and the other is up in the focal area. This minimizes the spaces between the lines and allows to block passing lane in the middle and forces the opponent to go wide. Simultaneously, the team is focused on pressing in order to win the ball in close range. Alternatively, they also keep a double pivot to create a 3-2-4-1. They keep a middle block and easily concede wide spaces as they are confident in dealing crosses and are quite content without the ball. Renato Sanchez has also got a fair share of games as his main duty was to bring the ball forward or look for the teammates with high long passing range. Young Canadian centre forward Jonathan David has been in a great form throughout the season and has scored 11 goals in the league. The attacking players always interchange and rotate position to distract opponent defenders and opens up a middle player to progress the ball or shift it wider to an underlapping fullback. They are quite agile in transitioning into a counter attack from a deep lying defensive block when they have recovered the ball in their own half. Lille attacks mainly from the left due to the presence of Bamba. He is in a phenomenal form. He is asked to make runs to stretch the opponent or help his teammates by creating spaces between the opponent's line so that he can receive the ball with more spaces in between. The wingers of Lille sits very narrow to combine with the forwards and congest the middle by overloading the area. Yusuf Yajici has also been influential. His versatility in movement and position interchanges has been incredible. The Lille centre forwards do not press opposition centre backs or goalkeepers. Rather, they try to cut passing lanes and since they operate in twos, hence one forward attracts the press, tries to hold off oppositions and the second striker tries to drop and assist the midfield. 
or run from the behind into the vacated spaces. It is the business end of the season with only 4 matches to go. A mere couple of points are separating the three teams Lille, PSG and Monaco. PSG have relatively easier fixtures out of the three and they also have European commitments to fulfill. Lille has been in an inspirational form throughout the season. But can they hold on to their league leading position and end PSG's monopoly? If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends and the gracious subscribe will really motivate us. Thank you for watching.